once I got my hand wrapped, put on my outfit and my headphones, you know, everything was just blurred out. Like, I was just so focused, you know, as I always am going into a fight. Because, you know, I look at it like he's coming to take, you know, my kid's future away and, you know, food off my family's plate. So, you know, everybody can be nervous, you know, doubting or, you know, hating. I don't see any of that once I put on my outfit. It's like basically turning into a I come out and I just know I'm getting a first round knockout. Like I told my dad, like this is gonna be another first round knockout. Not because like I was underestimating the guy or anything, nothing like that. It was just like I was so determined on, you know, stopping him in that first round. So I come out and I'm boxing and I could remember my dad just like he wanted me to you know, like stay calm, don't just go for the knockout, you know, because he was nervous and stuff. He didn't want me. The guy had power, you know, we watched some of his fights and you know, he got a little knockout or whatever. So my dad didn't just want me walking straight in, so he wanted me moving and boxing. So I'm doing that and you know, I hit him one time and he just gets mad and starts wailing away. So I'm, I'm moving and then, you know, I throw like a little wide little hook and you know, he catches me. So I remember like, it was like a switch, like, okay. I'm like about to hurt you. Like I, like at that point, I didn't hear my dad, cause like I started just like you know almost started banging with him and everything. I'm probably do like. Remember, we gonna win. We be looking to win every round. So that's what we need to be prepared for. But I gotta be real, go back to the But we need to be prepared for four rounds. I'm thinking this is war. Somebody ain't gonna come in there and try to hurt him and kill him. It's war. We going in there to bang. We gotta take his head off. That's how I feel. Oh, my bad. For TV, we're gonna do our best. We're gonna do our job. Oh, uh, he's going in, he's ready, he's prepared, he's prepared himself. He done seen all the champions across the world. He's sparred with a few of them, and he's ready to take care of business. So he's going in there, he just got to keep his composure and focus on the fight and take care of his business, what he was trained to do. So he's ready for that. You know, from the video, the footage that I got, I just remember hearing my dad say, body, body. And then, you know, he called the body, and like, you know, I looked to him, I nodded, and then like two seconds after, he was right, I got a body shot stoppage. In that moment, how did you feel when you had that body shot? Man, it felt good. You know, I see my girl and my friends and my dad, like, you know, just all excited, standing up, you know, and actually having some people, you know, a little tiny crowd in there, you know, cheering for me and stuff, it felt good. I felt like a little superstar, like if I done fought in the MGM Grand or something. Walk me through that body shot, man. So, I set it up perfectly. You want to, you want me to show you? Yeah, okay. This is only one time thing, I don't usually show my stuff. And I'll just walk through. That's how it was, that's how it worked. I'm serious. I was like, I was in that corner. Like, Ooh. 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 Now he threw this one wild one. That's a push. Today, I hope you do better though. Jay Z custom sent me to this. This is a custom made uh, playing score. If you see it online, that's because he released it because I asked him. To. Why are you saying this on oh, camera? Man. Man? Shout out, shout out Jojo Capone. Yeah, shout out Jojo Capone for all this in the Puma hey, outfit. So the one eating over here is Robert. Rob, man. What do you do, Rob? Trainer, fighter, uh, conditioning coach. What's the name of your company? Oh, you lost it. He the one who helped for you apply metrics. There goes Slick, the cut man. What's going on? Cut man Slick. What's the name of your company? We already introduced uh, At Cut Man Slick Incorporated. So you got, you got information they can follow you at? At Cut Man Slick, yeah, that's it. Instagram, yeah, that's it. <laughs> One of the best cut men in the business. 
and he wrapped the hands. That's why Floyd can hit with power and don't even affect his hands. One of his best. That's Rafer Johnson. He was a former fighter. We all know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> and I crack on him because that's my guy. He he do the body, yeah, the body right, shit. Right, right. He the guy who take the punishment, so we we respect yeah. him for that. Yeah. He used to get beat up. <laughs> yeah. Now over here, this is Curtis. This is my brother, and this is my assistant oh, manager, my partner. But anyway, and he crazy. Something wrong with his ass. Yeah. But go ahead. Well, you know me. I'm M A Jamal. I am crazy. <laughs> and, and hold on, hold on. <laughs> Kurt is the first one that believed in us and put the finances behind us. I put it out there because he blacked on me yeah, yesterday to say this not. shit. But then, <laughs> no, oh but God. I'm Kurt. I'm from Austin, Texas. Oh, I oh, represent oh. Top and Ball Entertainment or Top and Ball Property. Damn right. Top and Ball Promotions. I run the whole Austin, Texas. Believe that. Damn right. Yeah. Now, this guy isn't important. This is Daniel. No, that's just God. his best God. friend. God. It, no, that's his friend, not even his best I mean, goddamn friend. Future Pro. Oh, oh, my God. God. Nobody <laughs> said anything. He got hard of a bull. Damn right. He's right damn there. right. Yeah, He's getting that ring. Bull. And he's a good friend. And, and this young princess. Spot, Papa Rose. Come by, get you Come some by, get you some good fish, some good food. They didn't right. pay us. Hold <laughs> up. They didn't pay nobody yet. Now, you can put that in there, but next time. And turn around, this is Fiona, the Princess Fiona. She's a boxer, and she also is a media personality. And y'all gonna see her very soon. Kinetic Sports Renee, he's the one who got Floyd also in shape. That's his fifth and conditioning coach. So all that power y'all see, that's Kinetic Strong right there. Floyd, say what's up to Kinetic. Hey, Tammy and Renee, thank you for everything you guys do. Back to work. Back to work on Tuesday. Yep, more knockouts to come. Yeah, hey, Brad, man. This is the OG of Austin right now. Right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Turn it off. They gotta hit us. I know. We gotta hear the thump. They absolutely come out in mass, and I think they were shown last week. Hey, bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. It is right there. Hey, this is when he talks to the ref. He Oh, my gosh. Arsenal fan. Winning is a good feeling, you know. You know, if you train hard and um, be disciplined and you know, just focus on your craft, winning, you're just gonna stay winning. So this is a feeling you get used to and you never want to lose that feeling. So you always gotta maintain the right mind and have the right people around you.